Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. Well, in our march through history, let's travel back to the mighty Roman Empire at the turn of the 4th century AD. Today we will explore the emperor who rejuvenated an empire in decay while simultaneously unleashing the most focused and vicious persecution of Christians in the ancient world and perhaps throughout history, Diocletian. Born as Gaius Aurelius Valerius Diocletianus in 245, he was a complicated figure. Some saw him as a hero of the empire, rejuvenating it to its former glory, a glory it had not seen since the second century, while others knew him as a wicked and vile miscreant who was hell-bent on wiping Christianity from the face of the earth. Diocletian was born and raised in relative obscurity, but rose to high ranks in the Roman military sphere. Now, at this time in history, the empire was simply too large for one man to rule it effectively by himself. Enemies from the outside and chaos within caused it to fall into deep decay. And by the time Diocletian rose to the throne in 285, the empire was on the verge of collapse. Diocletian then divided the regions of the empire and put three other co-emperors in charge of each region, allowing for a more stable rule. Even as the empire was now governed by four co-emperors, Diocletian claimed his rule was divine, as the original emperors had done, and he was widely accepted as the ultimate authority over the empire. Now, it's no surprise that Christianity, a faith that claimed Christ, not Caesar, as Lord, caught the attention of the emperor. In the last few years of his reign, he instituted what would be known as the Great Persecution of the Christian Faith. In February of 303 AD, he destroyed the church building in Nicomedia and established numerous laws against Christians, including the prohibition of gathering for church. Over the next two years, an estimated 3,500 Christians were murdered for the creed Christ is Lord by this vicious emperor. Even so, the church would not be stopped, even by the most powerful man in the world. Diocletian would be dead within a few years, and the empire would soon follow. Now, simultaneously, Christianity would become the dominant religion of the Roman world. And if we can learn anything from the life of Diocletian the persecutor, it would be this. It is the church of Jesus Christ that will never fail and will be victorious in the end. Thanks so much for joining me once again for A Moment in History.